how, how is it that you know the the organization as a whole you know strives to try to uh, to to really you know get people engaged and involved? Yeah. So we have, I think, a bit of a challenge in that we have a lot of different audiences right. that follow our work, that support our work, and who we would like to be engaged with. Um, and it's not just about the bike. You know, this these photos here are from the Denver Solidarity rides that took place in May and June of 2020 after the murder of George Floyd, right. uh, which was, you know, a, a major crisis in the United States. And I think for us at that time, we really had to think as well, you know, how is our work equitable? How is it relevant to the needs of people for whom like getting to bike might not be exactly the the point of you know their interest, but okay. it could be a way to help them feel more free or help them build community with each other. You know, from an advocacy perspective, when we lean in with, with decision makers and municipalities, what we have to be saying right now, um, and I think that we have to be very forward about it, is you cannot continue to try to balance things because you are working with a system that is currently out of balance. And therefore you're gonna have to prioritize um, the biking and the pedestrian options and the transit options in order to get to uh, you know, that place where people really do have enough options that they can start to make those choices.